Hey, good evening, guys. Good evening, Walter. Good evening, Luis Alonso. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, hey. guys. Hi, good evening. Uh, someone uh, uh, is so difficult to me. Try to 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 found the class yesterday on YouTube. I don't know. Someone know about how to find that? Why? I don't know. I couldn't. I couldn't find the class yesterday. Today, sorry, the class yesterday. Yeah. Uh, I I saw the 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 class today um um two or two hours ago. You saw you uh, you watch you watch the class. Yes, I watched the class. Yes. I don't know. Will you mind to send the the link at the WhatsApp yes. group? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hey, but how are you guys? Just... Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good to see you again. How are you? How was work today? Nice, nice, teacher. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. What do you hey, do? Teacher, I, I feel so bad about the the last topic. I don't know. I feel, I don't know. My hamster can keep running right now. I don't know. I'm thinking about the the topic because uh, I don't know. I don't understand. I don't know. Um, you mean you don't, you don't, we're going to review the topic today. Don't worry. Yeah, but I, I was watching the, the three class before is so related to that about the classes, closes, and sanus. I don't know, but I understand, uh, something. Uh, like, like what, what are you? <laughs> But, but yesterday I don't understand. I don't know why you move the <laughs> the position or the part of the sentence. I don't know. All right. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll see that. We'll see that. <laughs> we'll see it. Don't worry. <laughs> Anyways, I feel uh, what, what, what about what about the rest? Guys? How, how do you feel it? How do you feel the topic? It's the same teacher. Uh, in my case. Uh, I don't know, but um, my grammatic is very. I don't know how 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 I tell you. Um, I don't understand the the topic. Yesterday, I am um, um, <clears throat> Mm, a little bit um miss a little bit confusing <laughs> see confusing yes a little bit right. confusing it is but normal teacher that it's oh, normal I don't, I don't know but, but... oh affect it's... me my age <laughs> oh because of your age <laughs> all right we'll see that all right guys um we're gonna get started also because i have another class immediately after this one okay um so we're gonna be finishing I mean, if you want to be here five minutes earlier, that's fine. Um, but we're going to finish the class like five or three minutes earlier because I do have to start another class immediately after this one. It, start, it starts at nine, you know? So, uh, so yes. All right. Very good. So we're going to continue talking about that. So really good job. Okay. Um, and let's get started. Let me share the presentation with you.
All right, very good. So let's share this, okay. All right, so we're gonna have some practice today, guys, but to address the questions that you had, let me get you some vocabulary first, okay? All right, so let's let's let me ask you something, guys, um, before we get started with all of this, okay? So in yesterday's example, right, we were talking about clauses of contrast, okay? It's pure contrast, right? So what is the part, I can go ahead and re-explain, you know, some examples, right? But first of all, just think about a clause, right? You, you know what a clause is, right? So um, what is the part that you find confusing exactly? Uh, you, you mentioned it yesterday about to while, unlike, in contrast to, that is the three, the three of the, uh, contraction, <laughs> but after that you mentioned, however, I don't know. I get confused. Oh, okay, right. That. Okay, yeah. so first of all, I, I was just comparing however. Okay, but forget uh, about however. Yes. Forget about but. Okay, I was just saying, you know, uh, these words, these words like however and but, you know, show contrast, right? But yeah. for I was just showing you as an example that you can use them. I mean that that uh, that that these clauses are like saying however or bad, right? But forget about them. You're not going to use them, okay? Um, so if we have unlike, right? We had unlike, we had, what else did we have, guys? Uh, we had... While? While, right? What was the other one? Contrast to. Contrast to. Contrast to. In contrast to, right? In contrast. I okay so basically guys what this is okay this is going to be the beginning of the class right we're going to call despite them the it, despite despite no yeah we can use this but we're not gonna we're we're only all right if we go over all of them we're gonna get confused right so we're gonna focus on the ones that we have on the platform but yes despite can be used as well right but anyways okay so these words guys can be combined right these words can be combined with, all right, hold on. I want to do the plus sign here, right? Mm -hmm. So they, they can be combined with, now. with, uh, with nouns, right? Now. But, but some of them, some of them, right? So because because we yesterday, we, we talked about one, all right? Unlike uh, American people, while, so, Here's the thing, right? So we're gonna we're gonna combine them again with with clauses, right? That's the point I wanted to get at. All right. But if you do this, guys, okay, if you do this, what happens is that you're you are going to have a clause. All right, you're gonna have a clause of contrast. Okay, this is gonna show contrast. All right. So I give an example, right? Unlike, unlike dogs, right? Let's say unlike dogs, cats um, like to <clears throat> sleep on top of roofs, right? Easy, right? So when we use unlike, we're gonna use a noun or a noun phrase or a, or, 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 or a pronoun. Okay, the rest of the information will be contained in the second clause. That's with unlike, all right? Then we have while, and how do we use while? Let's use this, the same example. I will typical Italian. No, no, I want you to give me your examples. Okay. Yes, your examples. So, so we, uh, so I know that we understand. So what do we got? Uh, yeah. I have an example for uh, While most of Salvadorians enjoy going to the beaches on holiday, I 
prefer to stay at home. All right, very good. So while most Salvadorians, right? Yes. Prefer to go to beaches, right? I prefer to stay home. All right, I like this, right? So what is the difference, guys, between this sentence and the one that we got above? It's at I, the same time. No, no the information. No, guys, no. This has nothing to do with the same time. No. No. That's that's another topic. So now, right. yeah. uh, let's 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 use okay, right? Let's use okay. So we had on like dogs, cats like to sleep on on top of roofs, right? So uh, while we can say while cats like to sleep on top of roofs, dogs. Dogs, dogs what? Dogs. Dogs don't. 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 Yes, yes don't. Don't. All right. So see. All right. Same idea. Right. We're using a like and what, right? And and then I'm gonna ask you what the difference is, right? And then let's use in contrast, right? In contrast to um, in contrast to dogs, right? Cats like to sleep on top of roofs, all right? And actually we're gonna place these two here and this one here, okay? All right, so these are the examples that I gave you yesterday, right? So we have unlike and in contrast to is followed by what? What do we, what do we follow with? with? It's followed by nouns or noun. noun phrases. Okay, it's followed by nouns or noun phrases. Okay, very good, very good. All right, so we have a noun here. We have a noun here and we have a noun here, right? And then the rest of the information, guys, and this is what, what was very important, right? The rest of the information is here, okay? All right, this is where you say cats like to sleep on top of roofs, right? So this is what, what contains, you know, the subject and the verb and the, and the predicate, right? If you use while, it's the same thing, guys. The only difference is that with while, while will contain the information and then you have, you have the, um, You have the uh, the contrast here, right? But here we're only going to use the word dogs or the noun, right? Where is the noun here? We're going to put it in red, right? And we're just going to say whatever it is that we're going to say to uh, contrast this, right? So see, that is the difference. Hold on, we're going to hold that. All right, let's use while, and this is going to be in green. Right, like that. And then we have dogs here. All right, you see the difference now? So if you were yes, to put a number here, I would yes. be like one, two, three, and then one, two, three. And then this one right here what would be what, guys? The one down below, this one. It would be one, and then what? Guys, one, green is what? Three, three and two. Three, right? Three and two, okay? Mm -hmm. So that is the difference. What is the difference in meaning? Nothing, guys, nothing. You're saying the same thing three times, okay? But there is the difference, guys, between unlike and contrast to versus while. Unlike can be used in the same way in contrast to can be used. And while? needs to contain all the information okay all right okay. now did that clarify your did that clarify your doubts yes teacher thank yes. you yes teacher right? yes. okay all right awesome awesome job okay all right very good guys because we need to continue okay so um i do have the presentation prepared for you guys so 
I needed to get vocabulary first, guys, because this is going to be part of the um, what you're going to see in the in the platform, right? So let's. Oh, I, I misspelled this, guys. Sorry. There's there's this misspelling here. Men. Yeah. Amendable or uh, amenable? Actually, it's amenable, right? Amenable. Amenable. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right, yes, you're right. Okay, so what is amenable, guys? <clears throat> Let me share it again. So what is amenable? Something like comfortable. Comfortable? Something it's comfortable. A, it's a person who likes to speak, but speak very well. You express very well when you speak. Um, I'm feeling very well. Yeah. yeah. Speaking very well, okay. What else? Can uh, amenable, I think that is uh, the people who we can to um, to move to the other ideas. Uh, something that uh, can uh, can be. Mm, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know how to say, but uh, something that we have, we can, we can change uh, his mind. Okay. All right. Uh, humble person. I, humble person. Like a that's humble not, person. It's not uh, humble. humble person. Hmm, I think Catherine. Mm -hmm. Catherine, you raise your hand. Right. Okay. Yes, Catherine, you know? Guys. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now, Catherine. Yes. Okay, amenable is someone or something that is easy to handle, basically. Yes, exactly. That is the, that is the definition, guys. Someone easy to handle. All right, someone like obedient, like your kids, you know, or like easy to persuade. Not obedient, guys. No, not obedient, but, but easy to persuade, okay? So easy to handle, all right? So that, okay. that's like, like kids, right? Kids, right? Your kids are easy to handle most of the times, right? Right? Very good. So conservative, right? Repeat, guys, conservative. 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 All right? So what is, what, is, what is a... Well, these are adjectives, okay? By the way, well, these are adjectives, okay? So what is someone conservable? I mean, conservative, conservable. <laughs> who is someone conservative? Uh, someone, someone who doesn't want want to to change. Uh, yes. Well, to, they they don't want to get modern uh, with with the things, you know. They want to be uh, living a la antigua. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Someone conservative, guys, is like someone who likes to keep on having the same. Yes. Uh, lifestyle, yeah. you know, that's someone mm -hmm. conservative. All right. And then you have some conformist. Tell me. Teacher, I think the conserv conservative is the opposite um, and I'm 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 a neighbor. I'm a neighbor. Uh not not no, not really. No, not really. Um no, it would be uh amenable would be actually kind of like the opposite of rebellious mm -hmm. all right that this would be the opposite right someone rebellious is someone who is um against you know someone who goes against the rules right mm. okay sounds so, polite so what i'm sorry sounds impolite someone polite someone impolite yeah someone rebellious oh, it's someone polite. who goes who, who who is like goes against the rules you know that is someone rebellious right all right, so nonconformist guys. What is who is someone nonconformist? It's a person who is ambitious. Very good. Mm -hmm. Someone ambitious, right? What else? Or is not very satisfied with something. Right? Very good. Not satisfied with some with 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 uh, the mm -hmm. things that they have, right? They always look forward to getting more things. All right. So what is someone unconventional? Conventional. 
Someone stubborn? No, someone unconventional? No, unconventional is someone who is not that normal. Okay? <laughs> kind of like someone unorthodox. All right, that is someone unconventional, right? Some, I don't know, maybe, you know, they're like, they stay, <laughs> they, they, stay, uh, they stay out of the crowd. So that's someone unconventional, right? Now, these are verbs, right? This would be conform. Repeat, guys, conform. 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 No, those right? are verbs. This is some, right? Like com to conform, right? Is to, um, to stay with what you got, right? You accept what you have, right? Confront, right? It's like you like to confront people. Rebellious people like to confront, to right? Same. Very yes. good. What about to rebellious same. people? They like to rebel. Repeat, guys. Rebel. Right. Rebel. Right. Resisting some established authority. Then we have stand up to and stand up for. Now, stand up to. What is to stand up to? Now, guys, to stand up to someone. Okay, let me let me let me do let me um do my Picasso. Show my <laughs> Picasso skills here. Show off my Picasso skills here. Okay, so to stand up to, guys, it's not to actually stand up, okay? But imagine someone like this, okay? Someone like who is against bullying, okay? And then you got the, the bully over here. I don't know, let's do a gap, whatever, right? So you got the, the strong bully over here, right? And he's trying to scare people. I don't know, guys. Someone, let's do uh, <laughs> some muscles <laughs> here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, anyways. So, when you stand up to someone, guys, this is the difference between two and four, right? You stand up to someone. Okay. Stand up, right? Stand up. Now, it's not the action of actually standing up, you know, you don't have to physically stand up. To stand up to someone is to... Um, resist? To do this, no, not to, not to resist, right? To, to actually confront this person, okay? Is to confront this person. That's to stand up to someone, to confront. Rise to one's feet. Okay, so stand up to someone, guys, is to confront, right? Now, if you say stand up for, all right, if you say stand up for, that is different. Okay, to stand up for. Now, to stand up for someone is like, let's, let's pretend that this bully over here, right, was actually bullying another guy. Okay, and this guy is wondering what to do with his life, you know, how he can tackle this other guy, okay? Like a defeat? Yes, right? So this guy is stand up, you know, for him. Got it? Like defending him. So he's going to, yeah, he's going to mm -hmm. defend them, okay? That is the difference, okay? Defending versus confronting someone, got it? I will stand up for you, okay? If I say I will stand up for you, it's like, Te voy a apoyar, right? Like, I'm gonna, mm -hmm. me voy a meter and I'm gonna be like your, right? No, vamos a ir en vaca, right? Let's <laughs> <laughs> stand up for someone, okay? <laughs> okay. Let's <laughs> just stand up for someone, guys. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, do you understand the difference between stand up to and stand up for? Yes, sir. All right. I stand up to him right but i stand up for him i'm gonna defend him and i'm gonna confront him got it yes mm -hmm. all right so that is the difference you see how you know what a big change the small preposition does it's crazy guys it's crazy very good all right very good uh now, what is the be your own person? What is what is the meaning of that? Be yourself. Be yourself. Be your sure? original. Be real. 
Um, okay, all right, to be real. Okay, it's it's actually guys to be in control of your life. Right. And yeah. you, you don't you don't let anybody tell you what to do. Okay? That is be your own person. What is to challenge the status quo? Status quo. What is that? What is the status challenge quo? the rules? Challenge the the rules, okay? Is that is that a status quo? I don't know. Status quo. That is let, I just heard that word sometime, uh, just uh, one time. Uh, the status quo, guys, is the way that things are right now. It's like normality, you know? Something that is normal nowadays, right? That is the status quo, all right? It's to be, it's to be against the, the other thing or the, or the other people. Yeah, exactly. Exactly right. Like no, 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 not to be no, no, not anarchy, guys. But yeah, starting school is like the normality rate. Okay, well, because that it's just that anarchy is like something way bigger, you know. So you you really wouldn't be able to say like anarchy in this way. But yeah, to challenge the status quo is like to challenge the normality, you know, like yeah, the, um, the way things are now. I think that uh, we we ne we uh, sometimes we. We, we are not be uh, angry with with other people. All right. Sometimes we, we are going to be against. Right. It's to challenge normality, guys. Okay. Or challenge, you know, the way things are now. Right. In other yes. hands, uh, in other hands, we we not we not always uh, how to say yes. Or no. <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah. In other words, right? Uh, we don't always have to say yes or no, or like to do what people want, uh, what people want us to do. Okay. That is that is basically what it is. Okay. Uh, to fit in, guys. What is to fit in? En cajar. I'm sorry. Beautiful, beautiful <laughs> translation. Yes. <Beautiful> trans <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was going to show you an example, but but you translated it so right. I'm sorry, teacher. That, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> all right. All right. So, what is to follow the crowd, guys? Follow the crowd. What is to follow the crowd? I follow idea about the, the have people. I don't know someone. I don't know. Like a fanatic. The rest of the people. All right. To follow the crowd, guys. Say, yeah, it's to you know to do what other people do. Uh, want you to do, all right, or what other people do, right? It's to, yeah, to what other people expect from you. Expect, you know, like this. All right. If you everybody, think... if every, if everybody wants you, yeah. If it's like, it's like, it literally is like. Following a political party, guys. No, no, well, not not like that, right? But, but uh, it's just doing, you know, things that everybody does. Okay, um, what they expect you to do. If you are expected to, if you see like everybody smiles, like do fake smiles, and you're like that, you're following the crowd, right? So that is to follow the crowd. What is the meaning of make waves? What is making mm -hmm. waves, guys? To call the attention. To 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 uh, catch someone's attention. Yeah, catch someone's attention. Okay. All right. Is that it, guys? Mm -mm. Uh, maybe it's uh, to be some active about a uh, one issue. About a issue. Okay. So, uh, so it's it's basically guys to make waves is to challenge things, uh, how things are done. Okay, it's like being rebellious. Okay, it's to challenge. Like an agitador. Uh, celebrate something. Challenge how things are done. Okay, no, it's it's to be rebellious, guys. Okay, it's to rebel against something. Okay, you're making waves out of, uh, I can say, um, people are making waves. 
like this, right? Someone who is problematic. Problem problematic, yes. Someone who's problematic, right? Exactly. Or that people repeat, or that people repeat the same action. No. Okay. Oh, oh. when people repeat the same no, no, guys, it's not it's not repeating mm -hmm. the same action. No. Okay. This is an example. We finally settled our differences. So please don't make waves, okay? So when people makes uh, troubles. Yes, exactly. So please do not make any trouble. Exactly. Got it? Or like I make yes, I got a lot it. of or like right. make a lot of noise. Or, or yeah, making a lot of well not not to make a lot of noise, guys. Okay, no, that, that would be oops. That's not your presentation. <laughs> no me dejaron copiar. All right. Very good, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. You were you were typing things in. Okay, hold on. All right. So we finally settle our differences. Please do not make waves, right? Please do not cause any trouble. I think that was the best way of saying it. Make waves. Like okay. Thank make you. waves, okay? Thank you, teacher. Thank All you. right. No problemo. All right, guys. So let's continue, guys. All right. So um, I needed to practice, guys. But before we do that, um do we have any questions guys about about clauses for contrast or are we good there's one that we're missing right so i i did wanted to i did want to talk about that okay uh the last two guys that we have in the platform what are they last one Let's see. Hello. We have what? We have mm -hmm. except that, except for, except for the fact that. Okay. All right. So we have way more guys. I mean, clauses can be built uh, from everything else, guys, like other phrases, right? But let's go with, all right. So let's keep talking about, you know, exception, right? Exceptions. Conjunction. Right. No. Clauses, uh, clauses for uh, of exception, okay? All right, so we're gonna do this, okay? So let's talk about clauses of exception. All right, so easy guys. So in this scenario, guys, we only have three and they're pretty much the same, okay? The first one is? Like, except that. The except second one? That. Except for? Except for? And I need to pay attention because otherwise here with accept that and except for you, you might except get confused, okay? For the except fact, for the fact that. that. Except, right, for the fact yeah. that. Very good, guys, very good. All right, guys, so um, you know what? You know what? What's one thing I don't really like, guys, about like books, like English books? They're very old, guys. People, like some of the things that you see in those books, are things that nobody ever ever says nobody you know and that's that's the reason why like learning in school is really bad because they 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 teach you with these books you know with phrases that nobody uses you know nobody right language is always evolving you know and people talk in a different way so yeah you can learn but this is like if 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 americans would hear you talk you know they they, they would say you know that's that's like a phrase that I would, uh, that we don't use anymore, right? Like in Spanish, guys, here in El Salvador, right? I still hear people say que pex, right? Mm -hmm. but that's very, that's very old, super old, you know? We don't say that anymore, right? Like Mexicans won't say that anymore. That comes from Mexico. So anyways, um, so um, let's see, guys. Let's see how we can build sentences. Let's have the first example. Uh... We're not going to use the ones that we have in the platform. Let's use our own examples, okay? We can say... Um, what, like the platform? Platform, plat platform guys. Plataforma platform. doesn't exist, okay? <laughs> platform. Right? platform, not platform. 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 Repeat. Platform. 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 Yes, the platform. platform. All right. Yes. So anyways, uh, 
Yeah, I was just like plata, plata for the, this, plata no format the, right now. <laughs> the example we have in the platform, in contrast to most Americans, comma, people here usually live with their parents until they are married. No, no, no. We're not gonna use. In, we already we already talked about why I don't like it in contrast to guys, right? We're moving over the ah, okay, okay. All right, clauses for exception, right? So we're gonna use yes. except that, except for and except for the fact that, right? So let's just accept mm -hmm. that, okay? But like uh, TV. No, but we're not gonna use that example because you can see that example. Okay. Let's, so oh, yeah. we can say. Um, we can say, let's talk about cats. Right? I feel like talking about cats tonight. So we can say cats. Cats like mouse, 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 mouses. Uh, you can say cats are expected to eat mouses. Is that how we say it? Mouses? No, mice. 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 Right? Cats are expected to eat mice, right? And then we say, except, now it, you can say except that or not, okay? You can simply say except, or you can say except that. It's the same thing, right? We're just gonna use, we're just gonna eat the, the relative pronoun there, okay? So you can say, cats are expected to eat mice, except, Except what? Now here, guys, I want you the to know. Mice, the mice were hidden. No, except, no, no, no. The Let's duck, say, the duck? Except the duck? some the of duck? them, yeah. some of them don't. Okay. Don't, you can say don't eat them, right? Right. Now this part of don't eat them, it's, redundant you can simply say they don't because we know we're talking about eat right mm -hmm. all right so this is one example so let's focus on all right so we're gonna focus on accept that and accept that guys in this example is followed by by another by what mm -hmm. no no, I mean, you can use, except some of them don't, right? Some of them is what? You can use guys nouns or or pronouns, right? Or noun phrases. Ah, noun phrases. Phrase. Okay. Phrase. All right. Except that some of them don't, right? Because this right here, some of them is working as what, guys? As a pronoun? It's working as is working as a noun, right? Oh. Okay. It's working as a noun. Okay. Now the first clause guys will contain most of the information, right? And then after accept that, right? It's it's uh this is gonna be followed by a noun. Okay. So cats are expected to eat mice, except some of them don't, right? What else can I say, guys? Mm, I can say Yes, Josue. I'm sorry. I didn't see your your hand raised. Um no no go ahead. Maybe after after work. Go, no, go ahead, go ahead. Um I was confusing the uh, well, this is clauses of exception and like you are, you are just uh, speaking of like uh, this part. Except that uh, we can use other words like just but. You can use but yes. If you use but, right? Some of them don't. You would be using but as exception. Yes, you can use that. Yes. So yeah, you can use uh, but, you can use however, you can use even so, but we're not gonna talk about that because everybody will get confused if we talk about that. But yes, uh, Josue, you can use but. 
right? Okay, okay. thank conjunction you. Conjunction but right. Remember, the guys, that these are right. These are working as conjunctions. Okay. Okay. So, anyways, um, we can say, can now do me, uh, let me ask you something. Can we change the clauses here? Can we start with accept? Yes or no? However, yes. No, we can't. Mm -mm. No. No, okay. no, because guys, when we talk about how do we how do we say accept that at the beginning if we don't know what we're talking about first, right? So this is always gonna be talking about whatever we, we said before. Mm -hmm. It's like saying it's like saying this, you know. Have you ever heard this? it's not you right and then now hold on you know let's say this right you know i love you and and you are a great person right and then but i have but we have to split up <laughs> have you ever has that has this ever happened to you <laughs> it's not you it's me right all right so when we use when we use this guys all right this is basically erasing all of this this doesn't matter <laughs> okay so we cannot start we cannot start you know with uh with a conjunction but. but here right but forget about but that was just an example same here guys we cannot we can't start with a conjunction except that okay we have to have some previous information before all right so Thank let's you. have another example guys let's see um, you can say i thought you were fast except you aren't see can we say that except you aren't Yes. Okay. Now here it would be better to use bad actually, guys. Okay. Well, yeah. But we can say but, but we can say uh I thought you liked uh pineapple, right? Except right, you don't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is right so easy you can say except you don't or you can say except that you don't okay both of them are the same all right so if you notice guys you're always going to use them in the second position um in the second position and it's going to be followed by nouns okay so do my favor guys i want everybody to send me your example send me two examples in the chat okay let's go guys send me two Sandra says, everybody will pass the course except those who don't complete the platform. That's a beautiful example, Sandra. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful example. Yes. Everybody will pass the course except those who don't complete. Now, that's a beautiful example for something else, not this example. <laughs> What's different, guys? What's different in Sandra's example? I want you to, I want to see if you know what is this. I didn't use that, expect, except that or. Okay, except. right, all right, hey, very good. But here's my question. Can you use that here, yes or no? <clears throat> mm, we could, of course. Except, except, except for? Can I say, except that those who don't complete no, the no, 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 no. You cannot no, just accept that except. here, guys, okay? Except for? Yes, maybe. Hey, well, why not, guys? What what makes it so we don't have to, we, so what, what what makes it so we yeah. don't have to use, um, that, that, that we can't use, guys, that here, and that we have to use for or leave it like that? What is the difference? Um, it could be except except for those who don't except for maybe it's missing for no but yeah yeah yes we know that it's missing for what is the um, difference why why are we using for why why doesn't it make sense to use that <laughs> I 
<laughs> Have you noticed that? Because we're talking about people. Yeah. Because we're talking about people? Okay, very well, good. All right, so here we're talking about the idea. We can say that, and here we're talking about people. Yes, so when we say except for, but we can say except for computers, for example. We can say technology is not as advanced as fast, uh, as fast as expected, except for computers, all right? So what is what is the difference there? See, where I'm not talking about people anymore, right? So then, what is it? What is what is the big the big difference? And and if you notice, right, it really sure. does it really doesn't make sense. And how do we know that it doesn't make sense? About technology. All right. So listen, guys. So, so here's the thing, okay? Except for guys, well, actually, except, except, right, or except that, it's used to talk, it's used to talk about, it's used for talking about a group of things, you know, or 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 an idea, right? Except for, right? Except for is used to. Um, in to describe a state so we can invalidate it okay so for example the state that we have here is that uh people will pass the course right yes all right no but that no okay all right so let me put in another words guys okay so if we say guys we can say accept first of all we can say accept without using that or, or for, right? If you're ever confused, right, you can say like that. But yes, in general, guys, the main idea for four, and let's put it here, the main idea for four is that we are going to be referring, um, we're gonna be referring to the change of state of the noun, okay? In this case, or the pronoun, right? In this case, that will be those, okay? the state of, uh, the, the change of state, I'm sorry, right? So what is the change of state? That people will pass, you know, people will pass the course, right? Yes. And now who are not gonna pass it? Okay, people who don't complete the platform, people who who are not, right, who, who are, are are doing a different um You state. give a reason. Mm -hmm. Well, it's um, simple. Teacher, but those is the plural of that. And we are speaking about, about plural because people is plural. No, no, this has nothing to do with, it has nothing to do guys for that, uh, about, um, for that guys, okay? With that, I'm sorry. The hell am I talking no. about? You can, because you cannot say except for that, you don't, right? No, it has nothing to do with uh, being this being the plural, right? Because you're talking about except for those, mm -hmm. Who don't complete the platform okay 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 all right now if you take a look at the structure right you have except that and except for and they are both followed by right well you have a pronoun here it could be a noun right but you have pronoun and you have yeah. what is those guys in this case is that a pronoun a noun a plural noun is it a noun Pronoun. All right. This is working as a pronoun. pronoun. This a is pronoun. working as a pronoun. Yes. Okay. A pronoun. Oh. Okay. All right. So they're both followed by pronouns or nouns, right? Or noun phrases. Okay. But here, the information was previously thought here. And here, you have to tell me, or right, you have to specify, right? Um, you have to be you have to specify the noun or the pronoun that you're referring to. Let's have another example of except for guys. Okay. All right. Let's see. I can say um, 
motors, you know what, cars. Uh, yeah, cars are fast, except for, except for mine. <laughs> All right, <laughs> now, right? What am I talking, what am I talking about here? About your car? All right, I'm talking car. about my car. Now, can I say cars? are fast except that mine except that mine that mine aren't isn't i mean except that mine isn't all right we can say except we cannot say except that mine right you, you need to say except that mine isn't isn't okay mm -hmm. very good job so the difference is of what is what you're talking about here right all right so except that guys We'll need to focus, um, um, except that that mind, guys. I mean, except that. Sorry, guys. Except that we'll need to focus on the idea of being fast, okay? And except for is focusing on the car, okay? So put it like this: except that is focusing on fast. Yes. Yes. Right, and except four is focusing on on the car. All right, does that make sense? Yes. All right, very good. And then finally, guys, we have. Yes. It's funny. It's funny how you can you can talk about like you can talk without making mistakes, because you know when you're talking, you know how to use except that and except for, but when you have to explain the difference between them both. That's that's a, that's a very very complex. All right, and then we have guys except for the fact that. All right, so we can say cars are fast, except for the fact that. How do we finish this sentence, guys? That mine isn't. Okay. So so guys. So these two, all right, okay, except for, except that mine is it. These two right here, guys, except that mine isn't, except for the fact that mine isn't, are the exact same thing, okay? What is the only difference? That you like to complicate your life with more words when saying, except for the fact that, okay? <laughs> But it's a phrase, it's a common phrase actually, okay? All right? So don't get confused with except for because this has except for too, no guys, okay? All right, it's not the same thing, right? This is, this is actually the same as except that. Except that is the same as except for the fact that, okay? Teacher, <laughs> may tell I? Me. <laughs> tell me. Well, and over there, can we say except for, what, for the fact? that mine needs to be repaired? Yeah, you can say that, right? Right, you can say that. But then you would be like, you know, you would be like talking about a different idea uh, that is not really, oh, Jesus, hold on. You would be talking about a different idea that is not really the idea, the, the main idea that we were talking about at the beginning, right? Because we're talking about being fast. Right, not cars not working. Because you can in that case you would say, you know, cars cars work fine when they're new, for example, right? Yeah. And then you can say, except for the fact that I have to take mine to the um mechanic. The workshop. Or you can say the yeah, you can say the the, the workshop, yes. All right. All right. So yeah, you can say that. Okay. All right. Now, guys, before we leave, guys, uh, first off, do we have any question? Okay, teacher. When you use uh, except, except, uh, except for, uh, uh, I can see uh, referring to the car in the example. But when you use except that or except for the fact that 
The focus is in the fast. The focus is in the yes, in, yeah. in um, the focus the is on fast. Yeah, uh, the the same meaning is um except that, like uh, except for the fact that. Yes, except that and except for the fact that have the same meaning. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. Um, do my favorite, guys. Give me one example with except for and except that. Okay. Instead of except that, you can also give me an example with except for the fact that. It's the same thing. Okay. Do it real, real, real quick, guys, because um, I do have another class incoming. Oh. So, yes. So let's okay. show me the, your examples quickly, guys, so I can review them real quick. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Right. So we can split the desert except. Now you're saying except if. Right. Um, you can say except for the fact that you don't like it or except. Except if you don't like it, you can say except. Yeah, you can use except if, but not in that scenario, uh, Patricia. Evelyn, she thought that job was easy. Thank you. Except Thank that you. it wasn't. Very good job, Evelyn. Nicole, my mom should be home already. Except that she's stuck in in the traffic. Very good. Uh, that would be except she's stuck, or except that she's stuck in traffic. Not in that. There's no need for an article there. Flowers are beautiful, except for the fact that you don't take care of them. All right. In that case, you would be, you're missing, you're talking about flowers in general, right? And then you're saying that I don't take care of them, but I cannot take care of every single flower in the world. So you need to be specific. You need to say your flowers are beautiful or the flowers in your house are beautiful, except for the fact that you don't take care of them, okay? That okay. would be the only observation there. Uh, Yancy, everyone in the neighborhood has dogs except except I. No. In that case, except except I don't have. No. Mm -hmm. Everyone in the neighborhood has dogs, except um, except for me, or you can say except me. All right. Because I think you're, the focus is on everyone, right? Having dogs, right? Uh, he likes two, right? You're missing two. The preposition two there, Selena. He likes to swim a lot, except that she doesn't. Okay. Very good. All of my cousins will come to the party tonight, except for the ones who have kids already. Very good job, Nicole. Daniel, pupusas are delicious, except for the shrimp ones. Dude, that, that is that is wrong because those ones are <laughs> the most delicious ones. <laughs> no, but the example is correct, man. Uh, the dog is aff affectionate, except that they touch his food. No, uh, the dog is affectionate, right? Except that they touch their food. You want to say their food or its food if you're talking about one dog? Okay. All right, very good. Lazy children enjoy playing video games except for the, their mothers, except for their mothers oblige them to make their homeworks. Homeworks doesn't exist, right? It's an uncountable now. 
you can say except that their mothers, right? Except that their mothers make them. Okay. Oh, my All right. I will have cold except except that I lost my phone. Okay. In that case, right? It's contrast that you it's better to use actually but. I would have called, but I lost my phone, right? But you, yeah, okay. you can say except, except, but no, you can say except that I lost my phone. That is fine. Okay. I earned the same salary except in, except in December, right? Except that I did not earn the same salary in December. You can say that. Most of the fruits are sweet, except for the fact that lemons are sour. You can say most of, most of fruits are sweet, except for lemons. That are sour, sour, right? Very good job. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay, guys, I have to leave because I have to start another class right now. All right, so we'll continue with this tomorrow, guys. We'll have more examples and practice tomorrow, okay? Okay. Right, I know this is an okay, interesting topic, so thank you very much, guys. I'll see you later. Thank you. Okay, bye. see you. Bye. Bye.